Hi, welcome to Daddy Curb's farm. Yesterday, the Golden Sun Beekeeper and I had an adventure where we drove up three hours north to pick up some uh, nuke hives, which right now you see there's two nukes over here and then a couple of short hives here and one tall hive. We picked up a total of four and um, last night we attempted to bring them home and install them and it was a little crazy. The bees were angry. We didn't get very much done and we didn't get very much video. But right now we're going to install the remaining two into these hive boxes here and hopefully we have a little better luck showing you what we're doing. We have one deep box. It's, it's a complete hive, but it's only one deep box. The one he opened just now has five frames ready in it, and that's so that he can install the five frames that come in the nuke hive. These nuke hives were prepared by our friend who is a beekeeper. Most of his queens are, they're, they're a hybrid because they're queens that were raised on his own farm that's about four hours north of us. So they are bees that, that are, they're Texas bees raised uh, by, by the colonies themselves. They're not ordered through the mail. And we're gonna place them in the new hive in the same order that they came out of the old hive or out of the new. The bees are getting a little stirred up, but last night they were a mess. We couldn't get hardly anything done. Bunch of um, drone fruit. They are forging though, that one has pollen cells. It's nice that they have pollen already, they've only been here for Less not even day. 24 hours. Trying to be very gentle so that we don't roll or damage a queen. Any of the bees really, but certainly not the queen. None of these queens will be marked because, like I said, they were raised on his property. So they, they were not commercial raised queens. It would be really cool if we could see her just to confirm that we're in good shape, but we may not. And he is holding them, when he picks them up, and he, he's holding them over the hive box. In case something falls off, it should fall into the new hive. But he's taking just a minute to look to see if he sees a queen and just to observe the pattern that's in there right now. I see plenty of eggs and uh, larvae. Sometimes when you give them a, a gentle uh, breath in an area, you can scatter them so that you can see, potentially see a queen or a pattern that is hidden under a bunch of bees. Sometimes the bees will cover the queen. lots of pollen on their yeah. legs. That's a good sign. We have these plastic beetle traps that filled get filled with oil and uh, they they fit in between the frames. And the beetles will be 
climbing over those oil traps and fall down in there. At least the theory is. And they will be trapped. They won't be able to get out. So it's just one way to help remove some of the uh, hive beetles that could be in there. We're going to do a visual inspection on the ground to make sure we didn't drop our queen. We're going to look behind. It's kind of hard to tell, but just in case. I don't see anything that looks like a queen on the ground, so we're in good shape. Now we're placing the inner cover on the hive. I'm in a bad position really. I'm standing directly in front of a hive. This is not where you want to be. It's not where the bees want you to be. Yeah, that one is complete. So that nuke box lays on the ground open. The bees that are coming in from the field can come in and they can smell their queen and know hopefully they won't be confused. They'll be going into the hive and they won't be trying to get back into this box. And the last step here with this hive is to skew it over so it's more in line, in position, where that nuke was. Eventually, this hive stand will have three hives, and uh, so we need to make, make sure there's room on there for all three. And we, we don't want to confuse the bees by scooting them around too much. Now we're getting ready to prepare the second hive on this stand. We're getting ready to just do the same process on this second nuke. I don't know anything about nuke boxes, but the beekeeper that we got these from made note that he liked the white ones better than the brown ones. Said something about the bees um, staying in them better. So if you're in the market for nuke boxes, take that for what it's worth. The hive is open. They're exposed. This is the scary part, at least for me, because that's, that's the opportunity right there to hurt some bees. When you're putting those frames in and out, you can roll them against the edge of the of the uh, hive box and that's when a lot of queens get damaged they're on the edge and you end up rolling them or squashing them this is some nice brood we've been toying with bees for a few years now but still i feel like an amateur espen's a little more confident with the bees uh, but you know every time we mess with the bees I'm worried about hurting the queen or dumping her out or squashing her or something last season you got to see me frantically try to requeen two hives that didn't work out too well both of them died they have pollen as well so they already have pollen so some of that pollen is going to be from the farm that they came from and maybe even some from today I bet you some of it is from today though because they were forging. They were going out. Yes. For everyone who was waiting for uh, Golden Sun beekeeping videos over the winter, I apologize that we didn't get any done. Uh, except for an occasional check on that one hive that survived. We really didn't do a whole lot. I should have given you an update showing you that the the two hives that i requeened didn't make it but uh, you know things get busy life takes over over and you just don't get everything done that you want to so those videos were neglected looking good the bees look healthy and I'm, I'm very thankful that they're 
much more gentle today. I don't mind working with bees. I don't even mind getting stung, but last night they were acting like bees that I really didn't want to mess with. Today, this is much more tolerable. I am wearing a veil and a long sleeve shirt and gloves because last night they were stinging my hands and trying to get under my veil and it was a mess. Today, I probably could have done this without gloves, but uh, better safe than sorry. You haven't seen any queens. Is that the queen right there? Right there? Yeah. Let me get a sh good shot of her. Can you turn it this way a little bit? See how they're gathering around her? Yep. Right. Right there. I don't know if you can see her. She's in there. That's good. She's pretty. She's a very golden color. Good. We didn't see it in the other hive, but that's okay. We did see eggs and brood and hopefully we didn't lose her or squash her in the transfer. We were warned by the beekeeper who prepared these nukes to get them in boxes pretty fast because they're pretty full and they have a lot of stores, a lot of uh, pollen and honey and brood so they're gonna need space pretty fast that's why we we didn't want to wait too long before we got them in the boxes I was a little nervous even waiting overnight but it turned out okay and we've never used the black foundation on the uh, the frames but last night in a hurry I purchased a complete hive from one of the big stores and it came with those black foundations so we're gonna we're gonna see how that works. The queen's in there, so he's in good shape. But we are gonna shake those, just like on the other one. We're placing the nuke box in front of the hive, just so that they can get in there. And putting an oil-filled trap in this one as well. Now he's gonna gently place the inner cover, trying not to squish bees. That's always a little delicate. like we squished one but yeah. hopefully just one okay good That's work son installed. okay we're gonna go ahead and take get some beetle traps in these two over here we're gonna remove those boxes last night we were in a hurry so we we didn't uh, didn't place those nuke boxes on the ground and we even left the laundry mesh net that they came wrapped in laying there. I mean, we got out of here in a hurry last night. We're, we're more than 50 feet away, but you can see in the back of the field, uh, there's one, two, three, and then behind this little hump is the two. There will be a third there. So the field right now, this is just uh, uh, native grasses, pasture. And on the other side are lots of mesquite and cedar and wee satch and over here we have lots of hackberry they're gonna have some flowers pretty soon and we also have the native persimmon and lots of the uh, spiny hackberry growing up and also agarita and things like that I'll turn around give you a shot of the meadow right up over this hill And you can see lots of uh, wildflowers. You can keep, most people would call them weeds. But there's a whole bunch of flowers. Yellow flowers. Some purple flowers. It's a tree house. So, lots of things in bloom. Lots of flowers in bloom. I thought you might appreciate kind of a broader look of the area around the bee yard. And uh, get an idea of where they are. 
Thank you for watching this episode of Golden Sun Beekeeper. Go ahead and give uh, my dad a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.